A thespian, Alex. Thespian? Well, who am I to judge? Jeremy! <laughs> Welcome to the program. Number two, what's your name? What do you do? Hi! How are you, Alex? <laughs> Oh, please welcome via Skype, Mr. Greg Proops. Okay, Greg, I mean, there's some funny stuff going on here. And let me ask you this. When you come in, and you'll be in the Majestic Theater on May 18th, is it all spontaneous? Or do you do any play on the audience? Or do you just do a standard show that's been so successful all across the country? Well, our show's different every night because we make it up based on what the audience uh, gives us, but we also have a lot of audience participation. We bring people out of the audience and sing to them. We do a bit where uh, we can't move and the audience has to move us, and we also do another one where uh, we, uh, we, do, we do a scene and the audience has to do, provide all the sound effects. So we're very audience interactive, oh way more than the Oh, my gosh, TV show. that is so fun. So it is 100% spontaneous. And, oh, yeah, absolutely. All right. Now, were all of you on the original Whose Line Is It Anyway? Oh, I've never asked everybody, but I, I presume we are. Now, Ryan and I certainly were, and Chip was as well. And uh, Jeff, Jeff was on the uh, ABC one, and uh, we've all worked together for, oh, golly, 20 years now since I was uh, 11. See, are, you started at 11 years old? Well, I don't want to give my real age to you. <laughs> Okay, all right, so you weren't a let See, I believe you. You sound so serious right now, and I would believe anything you said. And this picture of you with your glasses is so intellectual looking. So, <laughs> so what I'm going to find out when I see you on May the 18th, and who's live anyway, is going to be kind of a rebirth of this picture that I have of you and a great, crazy, zany guy. Do you have certain characters you love to play? Um, well, I, I think Smarty Boots types uh, are probably my favorite. Um, uh, I, I, I have fun watching Ryan, really. Uh, it's like being on a baseball team with Babe Ruth, you know. He just points at the fences and hits them over. Oh, my so God. I'm pretty lucky. I'm kind of like the Ringo of the group. I just play the drums and shut up. Well, when you, when you go see a movie or you go, go see a show, a Broadway play, and there's some characteristic of an actor, then do you glam onto that and, and then you can kind of become that, therefore doing a satire on it? Or where do you get your inspiration? Well, like you say, from anything, anything we're watching on television or if you go to the movies or how people act, uh, I think that's where we get our inspiration. And it's for me, it's just a matter of being silly and never stopping. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to never have to be an adult, really, in my life. Have you uh, ever been in the same room with Robin Williams? I have, yes. Oh, I've, I've what held was it Robin like? Uh, well, uh, when you hold him in your arms, he's, he's very hairy and sweaty <laughs> sometimes. How about Jonathan Winters? I met Jonathan a couple times and interviewed him, and he was the most amazing improviser I've ever seen in my life. Well, um, the, the reason I brought him up is because I thought, to, he, to me, he was the best fu funny man I have ever seen in my life. And I grew up watching him, and he passed away recently. And I, I thought possibly you had met him and maybe shared a one-on-one -on -one with him. I did a couple of times. I interviewed him uh, for a... Uh, for English radio, and uh, she was magnificently funny. I, I agree with you. I don't think there was anyone funnier than Jonathan Winters. Uh, oh, it, oh, I don't either. But uh, but let me tell you something. Based on what you guys are doing, you, I think he would be proud of all of you. I really think that he would. And the the talent of improvising and being so quick on your feet, and you're just on the edge all the time, and that's what makes it fun for you. I bet just flying by the seat of your pants. It does. Uh, also, we're lazy, so we don't want to learn uh, lines or anything like that, and it's the perfect job, really. Uh, well, look, we look forward to seeing you, and thank you so much for your time with me this morning. Uh, I wish you well in Austin and all the cities you're going to be touring, and you will be, as I'm telling our audience now, at the Majestic Theater. You can see them on May the 18th in Dallas at the Majestic Theater, and you can get tickets by going to Ticketmaster.com. If you have never been in an audience with these guys, you are in for a real treat. And trust me on this one, because so many people say the same thing. 